No, that's my other phone. Oh. Girl, this that damn thing is showing turn, your turn your Wi-Fi off. I got my Wi-Fi off, girl. Mm -hmm. What's up, everybody? Girl, we was having a good conversation, and then the damn phone, the damn internet. This is why I don't be liking that shit on the internet. The internet just went to Karen on, man. Damn. Hey, y'all. Man, I'm trying to come back. Y'all tell my sister to come back around here. We was having a deep conversation, man. And the internet just went on and did the damn thing. Let the devil use it. Where you at, Angelica? Come back. We was we was talking real good. Tim Bay! Woo! <laughs> uh-uh, bitch. Let me let me until my I sister like get back. back. I gotta get Tim Bay on here. What is going on? Mm -mm, the, where you where we at? We, there we go. There go my sister. Boom. <laughs> Sister, yeah, that was girl. the devil. That was the devil. That was the devil. What didn't want the truth in rotation? The devil didn't want the truth in rotation. The devil was busy, man. Listen, what I was saying though is this: just know that I also recognize the hustle you've been doing for so long in producing your own stuff. And that I think that what happens is is because we aren't doing things on a certain with certain backing or whatever the case is, some folks don't always respect the hustle or respect the skill that's being put forth. And I know that you're not just up on there uh, gagging and doing whatever, you, you're producing a show. Yeah. And so just know that I'm seeing that and in my world of power as I try to build tables and create things, especially with production here in Atlanta, like, you know, I'm just always thinking about you. So just know that- I know, um, I, I have I'm having meetings I and know, listen you listen you called me I was in LA years back you hit me up and you communicated with me and you took me to lunch at that old fancy ass place over there I said girl we could have went to the damn jack in the box you know mm -hmm. hey peppermint and you took me over there and I told you I said girl listen you you were you were trying to work with me then and then you booked me for the trans, trans tech. tech, yes. You booked me for trans tech. Let me tell you something. You looked out for me. Janet looked out for me. Like Janet, Janet brought me on so popular. Yes, I remember. I love that episode. And that was it. Was me talking about my book. She talked about me so on, brought me on so popular. She took me out. She took me to some some restaurant in the New York City, and we ate. And I said, girl, you had to take me over to this fan said she and honey, we could have went down there. And I stopped that plate. I said, take me back there, okay? <laughs> But we, you know, people think that because we don't all be congregating together that we don't know each other. We, we occupy those spaces. We, we communicate with each other. We talk. Like, we still, on our ladder growing or going up, we still have people above us that still Always. Be like, mm, Always. Mm, I'm a little apprehensive about that. Or, you know, I might be a little, you know, it might be a little shaky, a little bit risque with that. Oh, but you know what? But it's you know I think yes that yes that. But even even less of that. What I what I see too happening, you know, like with Janet, with Laverne, with you know even myself and with other folks who I see happening is, we are walking through the doors that are meant for us to walk through. Mm -hmm. Meaning, who you know when Janet did her master's degree in journalism and went the people route and all that kind of thing, her whole trajectory was for her to be able to walk through and then turn around and give power the way that she's been able to give power. Same thing for myself. Yeah. Like I've always done whatever I've been able to do and hustle along the way. But now as I sit at a table of power, uh, because I'm the decision maker now, you know, or I can make those decisions, I'm now making those decisions. It's just, you know, I think it's it's up to all of us, I think, to continue to create the world like you have done with your your operation around your people that the people that you have around you, you know, that are helping you, that are creating with you, are doing it on that level with you and it's a respect. And it's like as you rise and as you do your things, it's right now this is about your growth. This is about you learning, even you learning how to use your voice in ways where you can be as nasty, ra ratchet, or whatever as you want to be, and still, and the people still want it. 
Right. Right. And you don't have to change yourself. And you don't right. have to do these things. But learning and, and you know, you, you've been doing this for so long. So I think that it's just about now your time is coming. And then when your time comes, you're going to be that bitch, that, that HBIC, you know, that's going to be now making decisions about who's in the hair and makeup trailer, who's, right. Right. You know, who's on your team. Right. And one thing you can't ever forget is the people who believed in you when other people didn't. You know, you know what I'm saying? You can't forget that. And you can't, you can't, you, it is your duty and responsibility. One time you called me and we talked and you said something so profound to me that I couldn't do nothing but accept it. This was, you possibly, I think you were in the first season of Pose, the first season, or you, or you were getting ready. And it was right before you was on American Horror Story. It was right before that me and you talked. We were on the phone for a long time. I, I, yeah, okay, okay. And I was in, I was, I was in the drive through at the bank. I remember this. I remember this vividly. And I was telling you, I was expressing to you like the way that I felt, like you know, sometimes that that I've been, you know, kind of shut out because of whatever and this and the other. And you came and you said something to me that made me have an, an entirely different perspective about it. You said, Madison. I'm just getting in the door. We just getting in the door. We not, we have to celebrate us getting into the door now. Then we can move in those spaces of reaching in. But we just getting in. You know, even though it looked like that we crossed over the line, it was so swift and easy for us to cross over the line now. It was very much so like we are just really getting in. So we gotta celebrate. And it wasn't in, and it wasn't even in the selfish place that you said it. It was, we got to celebrate us being here now. And and understanding, too, that, you know, sometimes, you know, I, I'm going to say this, and this is with all due respect to uh, to to my brother, um, you know, Billy Porter, but it's just one of those things, this is where it's a different conversation when, let's say, Billy Porter might say to, in the Emmys on his video last year that, you know, look, we're in the room, um, uh, because, you know, with his nominations and sort of the thing is, but the reality is no gay men are in the room, you, you know, in that room, in, the, in that room. So when I say to you that we're in the room as a black trans woman to another black trans woman, I mean, I mean, we are in the room and we are, you know, we are doing these things. I'm making this happen. But that's what happens is that sometimes we're in this big rainbow, folks with the most privilege, folks with the acceptable identifications. You get that. Oh, I, I'm back. Sorry. I, I just oh. had a call that came in for a second. I'm going to say this and then I'm going to go. But like, you know, uh, I, I just lost my train of thought because of that, that call. But they're writing down there, writing good stuff. What you said was that we're in the room as a black trans woman talking to another black trans, we're in the room, you know? I and trusted I that when Janet told me that, I trusted that because she was in the writing room, she's in the directing room, she's talking to power about me, you know, in certain ways or whatever. So when she says we're in the room, you know, not only could I uh, rely on that, I've seen the proof of that. And what I'm saying is, is even when, whether it was trans tech that I created, uh, when I did trans tech, the reason why our, at our first summit, I chose you as our keynote speaker, not myself, you know what I'm saying? You as our keynote speaker is because for me, you embodied what the hell I mean, what it means that tech, what it means for technology to be at the intersection of your drive and passion someone who took yourself and cre and and basically was vine yes created that that whole kind of sector of that kind of memes and all that kind of stuff or all that kind of stuff so and then created a life for yourself you have your own home you're taking care of your family so off of some internet shit you understand what i'm saying some stuff that other people might scoff at or might rise they raise their nose up at but you are a role model for so many trans people. And I needed to uplift you in that moment and pay you and treat you yeah, well you in did. that moment. You, you listen, you paid me. You treated me good. I, I came there. I showed up and showed out. But you always, you've always been in that spot for me. Janet has always been in that spot for me. Uh, RuPaul, I got to give it to mother. 
she's always been in that spot for me, like always. Like that's because that, that, that's because that, you know they started biting off you early, girl. I mean, it was just <laughs> like that's how it was. At some point, the bitch had to acknowledge you because shit. Yeah, but you just like it's, I like I never I, I never forget these people. Even Lee Daniels, Lee Daniels, Lee Daniels called me. I remember on Star, you were doing the after the show. After show, like Lee Daniels called me, and it was just like you know he had been following me, writing me, communicate with me. You know, like I never forget this these types of things. Like I never forget who who has spoken, and and no shade, Shakana. Uh, uh Shakina, yes, Shakana, Shakana. Was was pitching me to people, and I found this out later. And I hadn't even, I had never had even was communicating with Shikana, but she was watching me, and she was talking about me to to producers and stuff like that because I was getting reached out to like, well, damn, why are these people messaging me, you know? So that's because yours is coming, and and it's it's all it's just all about find everything because even with Pose, like Pose, I think was a fight for Stephen Canals, you know what I mean? As he was saying, like, it was just like people rejecting, 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 and then they get the yes from, you know, who he gets the yes from. But it's like, and then when we did the show, the fact that they had tied, they basically treated us like a, a ugly person with a stake tied around their neck. You understand what I'm saying? By, by basically putting white people like Evan Peters and um, James Vanderbeek and all these names where they're, they're great people and they're great actors. But they weren't really necessary for the main line of the story, but they were necessary to kind of like show folks that this is, come on, this is worth your time and attention or what have you. So people, we were, you, you could just tell in the way that we had even did the first season as if it was like a movie that wrapped itself up. You know what I mean? Like that we weren't sure that even that effort was going to stick. And so it's like, as we're now doing these things and realizing this is not going to be a flash in the pan, but that we can have, just like there are a gazillion stories with white people in them and straight white people and all these different things, why can't we have multiple stories with trans people in them? Right. Because we all live, we're not a monolith. We all live different. We, have, we, we all have all a different We all live hustle. different. We all have different lives. And, you know, and each, each one of us needs to be we need to be respected as a whole, but we need to be respected and understood as an individual person. Yeah. Because, you know, you may not be loud, live, and in color as me in the ways that I am, but you are loud, live, and in color. But I am, you, yes. You are loud, live, and in color. You know what I'm saying? You may not strike the blow the way that I would strike the blow, but we gonna strike the motherfucking blow. Absolutely. You, you know, Absolutely. I might be more vulgar and more, you know, but that's me. And and what I, what I hate about people is that they can't respect and understand that even though we 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 we're the same as trans, we're different, and I'm not gonna ever be like you, and you're not gonna ever be like me, and you're not gonna we're not gonna be like Janet, and Janet's not gonna be like her, and this is not gonna be like all of. There is no one specific way for us to be, you know, trans women. We all, as long as we're making the impact that we need, I'm gonna always be loud, loud because you know that. I know that girl. And I you know, know you whatever be, role I know you, you know whatever role you write for me. Live and in color. In color. Listen, you know whatever role you write for me. I need to well, be let bitch. me ask you this too. Let me ask you this too though. Like don't you don't see yourself just having your like your own show, your own nightly show? I do. The spirit told me this. Okay, like, cuz the spirit this, is this, talking this. to me on that one too. Yeah, but the spirit told me this. The spirit told me this years ago even before I got with Kaya, even before I got with anybody. Even the spirit told me this years ago. In a quiet space, the spirit told me this. I and I and I don't know when it's going to happen. I could be 40, 45, 50. I don't know when it's going to happen. I just think that I just think that <laughs> So many people, whether it's intentional or unintentional or, you know, whatever the deal is, like, you know, a lot of people bite off you in the entertainment space. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, 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 you know, folks like, it's funny because folks think, I, it's not, I just think that you are our Wendy Williams, <laughs> meaning like on the level of who we want to hear from on those things you know, who we want to hear your a take on those things, as well as the shade, because we know that you are going <laughs> to, you're going to lay it right, though. It's not going to be like, 
shade for no freaking reason. Right. But it's bitch because you need to be called to the carpet or you yeah, need to that, be Yeah, you know, I'm going to do that. You know, I'm going to call it out. And you also know that my story, that my story, see, because a lot of us, a lot of trans women who are, who are occupying, you know, major spaces, some of them are still. Yes. Some of them are still. And then some of, some of them don't really, you know, communicate as heavy as I have about, you know, my past. See, I, I, I make sure that I take complete ownership of it because I mm -hmm. wasn't just, mm -hmm. I wasn't just, you know, a, a little, a little, I did a little scene here. I, I made a whole empire out of that. And I turned my back on it and walked away from it to say, I want to start something new. Absolutely. Because you had the choice. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, honestly, I swear to you, Madison, that's why I relate to you with you so much is because in, I've spoken about this in my interviews when I talk about the fact that I got, I gave myself the ability to grow with grace because when I learned the computer stuff, what happened was I, instead of posing on the adult website, I, was, doing actually, behind the I was doing yeah. behind the scenes. Then I created my own adult website and was running that. And then I decided I'm going to do something else. And that's okay. And I don't need to lock away or put my past under a carpet and never talk about it again. I don't need to be with anybody or around anybody that's going to shame me or make me feel bad about where I've come from. Because what I do know is all that stuff gave me the character that I'm holding right now. Correct. Correct. It, it, it created you. It made, it made you. And you wouldn't be that without that. You know, and this is why I take full ownership of it. I tell stories about it. Those were some of the darkest times. I've, yes, I made lots of money, but those were some of the darkest times for me. I'm going to always talk about that and make jokes about it and talk and then and educate people on when I'm moving forward and saying, girl, listen, don't take that path. Like, don't take that path. I had four niggas back there holding me down in the back of a U-Haul truck. You know, I might make a joke out of it, but I was really afraid for my life. You know, Absolutely. This, this stuff. And if, if I'm able to break through some, because if we, if we stand and we, we talk about it in, in a sob story, let's say we, we're talking about all of our trials and tribulations, like, and it's like, oh God, this is, this is draining. I bring it in a comedic way. Right. To make you listen. And then, then I tell you the story. Then I educate you on it. Then I make you understand the hardships that well we you do what a lot of comedians do you know you take very hard situations to talk about or painful situations and you make you make you process it through laughter yes. you know and 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 i think for myself again for many people creatives like that's some people get the opportunity or privilege to do so and many of us are sitting with stuff and haven't been able to process it and some of us, you you know, are able to watch shows and kind of vicariously, you know, process things. Mm -hmm. but I think that each of us has a create some creativity to be able to process that pain. You know, you don't have to. You you can understand that certain things that happen in your life. You know, uh, you can you can flip the switch on anything you want to. Yeah, yeah, yes. And and you know what I'm gonna be honest and say, I love when I tell some of my stories, and then I know that that the people that are in the background watching like yourself and Janet, whatever, and you take tidbits of those pieces and you bring them to life. And it's a good thing for me to be at home watching that and saying, wait a minute, they must have heard me tell this motherfucking story or it, or that's like a universal thing for us. It's like, a, you, you know, it, and let me tell you, it's so universal because I can't even tell you how many people would tell us that we, you know, they, they thought we wrote a situation like that was my story or that was my life or whatever. Or there were times when people asked me even like, things about candy and it was like, um, you know, do, that felt so real. Was that, you know, something that, you know, was that based off your life? Were they writing? Because they did write candy, the role for me and just wrote me into the space. You know, candy didn't exist before they met me. They met me and they were like, OK, we're going to write this role candy. But then as we're doing this stuff, Janice writing some of the story and as it's coming out, it's not my story. But I'll be damned if uh, some of that stuff. I'm looking at Janet like, bitch, like what, like what was it? Uh, were you in the closet, bitch? Yeah, you girl, girl, I was just like, what? and that's that is the sign of a good writer. Those are signs. That's why I got. I give my sister her her definitely her accolades because like people felt candy. And in you know, especially in those episodes, episodes three and four of of, of season two. 
and people cried and people felt this, the realness of that. I felt the realness as I was delivering the words to my mother and to my father and doing all these things. I was riding a wave of real emotions and that's because, and I, and that's not my story. That's her, their, her words writing that. So that's how strong it is of having someone who really understands the experience, having them in the writing room. Yes. We can, we can create. It's important. It is important. It is, it is important for trans people to tra to tell trans stories. And it is important for, for trans actors to emote these things that, that, that when the pen goes to paper, I need to see these emotions. I need to know that in this moment, I felt this way in this moment. Absolutely. So, so I know whenever y'all bring me something, whenever either one of y'all lay something down on the table for me, you know that I am going to be able to emote that. Like the, the person out there watching is going to be able to be like, this. That's that hoe. That's a, that's she playing herself. But it, bitch, you know it's coming. I know. I feel it somewhere. It's, 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 I feel it somewhere. In a, in a we feel it somewhere. Yeah. I feel it somewhere. I don't know where it's at, but I damn <laughs> sure feel it. You know. Yeah. But I, but it's just you know. And here's the thing that I that I need to publicly say so to because there might be other trans women out there that are watching. Let your time come. Yeah. Don't be jealous of the girls that occupy the spaces. Don't feel any kind of way like like if if don't feel like well why when is it going to be my moment when is it going to be my ch chance when is it going to be you know you need to trust the process let the universe play itself out. I had to learn that for myself because it was times I felt like girl now you know damn where well they could have called me that you know I have felt that way I have. And like that's no no shade, especially absolutely, like absolutely like because I've been a, a visible bitch for over a decade, like fifteen years. Angelica and I, come on. And my thing is, you do sometimes get in your in your in that place of like, damn, they ain't call me, they ain't they ain't message me, that you know they. But don't. think about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause you for one second. Just think about that. And what I want to encourage people to do is to meet your dreams more than halfway. And what I mean by that is, yes, you may wait on that call, you know, but in the meantime, do the work. you know, do the work because what they're looking for ultimately, yeah, they want the right person for the role, but ultimately too, what they want every day is to go to work with an actor, with someone who understands the process of working with cameras and other people and just all the kind of the host, you know, thing that it is. So it's just knowing that lane actors, you know, do uh, actors have their headshots, their resumes ready. They have their um, just doing the putting the little pieces in, into place and then doing the acting stuff on all levels. Because the reality is, you know, um, people don't start singing at Carnegie Hall or people don't start singing. You right, know, they, sang, they sang in the hole and see, you know, so, so for those of you that are listening out there, let me break it down because she's talking in a very large, big space. Y'all see what I do? I get online. I make my own show. I make. I, I, I have a crew over there working, doing this, running camera, doing this and the other, so that when it's time for me to walk in that real door, all I need to do is sit down because I worked in the hole in the wall. I worked on the chick Kitlin circuit. I built that space for me. And, 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 and those people that are out there watching have watched me sustain. Baby, you so ready sustained through all that they've seen me go up and down they've seen my shows and shit dismantle they've seen scandals and all these things about me they've watched this stuff mm -hmm. all of this is a part of the process and they like you know what this is the perfect situation right here this bitch already experienced the resume she got a living resume right there but that's the thing but listen look, look so did you did someone grant you or give you the show that you have no i made it Right. And so what I'm just trying to say is, is that whether it's you doing stuff on the college level, independent films, or whether you make your own path yourself, you cannot just wait for someone to call. Right. And I never do. And that's what you've always loved. We're not, girl, we're not girls that wait. For, we're not yeah, girls that do you that. You told me that. You, you told me, you said, T.S. Mazin, I love the fact that you don't wait for nothing. I don't wait for Nan bitch to do nothing for me. Nothing. Hmm. I don't wait on it. I learned I learned earlier in my life that if I don't go out there and do it, it ain't gonna get done. And when my phone rang, 
it's going to be ring in specific for me. I prayed to God. I said, God, I'm not a competitive girl. I like to do what I like to do. I, I, I know that I might need to make some changes and stuff to myself, but I want to just be authentic, authentically me. Whatever is for me authentically, give it to me. Absolutely. You know, when I prayed that prayer, I want to say this so that people can understand this. When I prayed that prayer, Angelica, time came in. Okay, well, you want to be un unapologetically you. You want to be un, you know, you know, you want to be unsis. You want to be these things. You gotta wait till the moon align with the stars. You gotta wait till you gotta wait till we we get into that environment. We gotta wait until the climate changes for that. You want to see a, we want to own your sex past. You got to okay. You don't want to cover that up and don't want to talk about it. You gotta wait till the climate change. So that means I had to get in. I had to get. It's, I could have had many things if I if I was if I was you know right there in the Russian, <gasps> but it was like bitch. You t God said to me, you you asked me for this, you gotta wait. I mean, but I think I I couldn't have done I couldn't have done, you know I couldn't have done half the things when Jan like when Janet Mock spoke about doing sex work in her you know first book or whatever the case is and on such a high platform and doing all of that. That just freed me and a lot of girls to be able to like own that. But she, unfortunately, it's like she had to put her pretty privileged face on that to be acceptable. Do you understand what I'm saying? People, because people look at Janet and they'd be like, no. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, she, it's like, oh, does she? Because I know a lot of trans girls who look at Janet who've never read her book or don't know too much about her who think, Oh, she don't know. She ain't never been what I've been through. But knowing Janice, I've uh, been on the street. Uh, yeah, oh, she, she hold for that um, kitty. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Like, but and she talks about that. But because she talked about it in such a removed way, it was so long ago, and it was um and look at me now, you know, sort of situation. It was like now and then people are doing it more in real time. You understand what I'm saying? And saying like this is what it is. Yes. And 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 I'm telling you, when I prayed that prayer, because I've 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 went out for roles, didn't get the part, or or almost got the part, then it was given to somebody else or whatever. And I prayed, I said, God, I don't want to be out here, uh, uh, fighting over no role or, or getting my whole son. God, send me what's for me. Make send me people that's gonna write something specific specifically for me. Mm -hmm. I I pray, and you know what God told me to do? Well, bitch, you gotta wait. Yeah. You got well, I'm one. I'm one of those people that's writing specifically yeah. for you, and I know other people. Yeah, right. Me, so you, you know, know what I'm saying? Like you specifically, it's like God tell me you have to wait. You gotta wait. You gotta sit down. I see you standing up right now, and you out there, and you auditioning. You, if you want something, I'm gonna give you exactly what you asked me for. So when you go, when y'all people go to God and ask God for stuff, be specific. Absolutely. And, and when He answers your prayers, it may, it may take longer than you anticipated because you were specific in what you asked for. God, I don't want to be out there competing with these hoes. And I talk to God just like I talk to you. God, I don't want to be out there competing with these hoes. I'm tired of having my motherfucking hopes up and these bitches getting the part. Okay, sit your fat ass down and wait. <laughs> right. So somebody gonna write a part for you, but you got to wait. You got to wait till they get in the room. But you all and you all but you're keeping yourself sharp in the meantime. You're not mm -hmm. just waiting. You are keeping your skills mm -hmm. very sharp in the meantime. Yeah, you got to wait till they get in the room. And when they get in the room, bitch, you better applaud for those people. You better applaud for them. You better congratulate them. You better do these things for those people because Because you want people to do the same for you when it's your time. And, and not only that, you never know who in that room that's writing for you. You never know. I might have spoke a word in their dream to follow you and say not say a word to you, but write for you. So applaud for them. So a lot of you hoes that be having y'all nuts crossed on people for, mm -hmm. for nothing, you blocking your own blessing. Mm -hmm. A lot of you bitches that don't got nothing nice to say about nobody or or or, 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 mm -hmm. or always reading people who get a, oh, she don't, well, girl, all that, all those people that have that negative energy about people who are in a succeeding point, you don't know God probably whispered in those people here to watch you to have that to to to, to answer that prayer.
prayer that you prayed to get a specific this, this specific thing for you. And you fumbled your can't nobody fumble your bag but you. Can't nobody stop your bag but you. No. Nope. And and this is why I don't be online. Hey, no, no people. I don't be reading nobody. I give my opinion about some shit. Now my opinion might be a little a little deep, but I get my opinion about it. When shows come out with y'all on it, and, and people be like, well, Madison, why they ain't call you? Why you? I said, they'll call me when it's time. They'll call me when it's time. I don't know what they over there doing. They could be cooking up a major some shit for me. I don't know. Well, if you stop cussing so much, I ain't finna stop a motherfucking thing, because I told God that I, if, if I can't go on there and cuss and fry my chicken, or whatever. Listen, like I be me. I be adding some fucks into the script. They be like, Angelica, <laughs> it's FX. Um, so you gotta cut down one of these, okay? A couple of these you gotta cut down. Yeah. So, you know, and this is why it's important. And I say this because you gotta know that there are girls out there who are who feel some type of way when they see girls rise and grow to grow to other places. And you shouldn't do it. I'm telling you, if you're watching this video now. You have to remove that from your heart because there was mm -hmm. something that you possibly prayed about that you got to wait on. You got to wait your turn, girl. But also, you know, also success is a synergy. And you got it's one of those things that I, I got to tell you, even before when Janet, when Janet was did uh, her first book and Redefining Realness and before a lot of people who knew who she was and a lot of things were going on or whatever, as a black trans woman, who had never seen black trans women doing the things that she was doing, I was so excited and I was celebrating like I had won. Because you did though. Right. You did. Right. You did. Right. That's the realization that comes to you that you did win. Yes. You did. Yes. Because like I said, you didn't know where, where it was going to come. God whispered in her ear, and say, write this for that girl. And you over there celebrating that you were already celebrating your own victory. That's that's very that but I mean, yes, you yes, and I did I would didn't know it would be that literal, you know, because that it would come from her. But like I said, I think just in general, when you celebrate other people's success, like you bring and manifest that energy to, in your own life. That's you can, people want to celebrate you too because you're that girl that's willing to celebrate other people. But but and that gives that energy. But it was you're right. It was just like in this miraculous thing you that celebrating her yourself. so hard was celebrating my own success. You were celebrating yourself because whatever whatever prayer that you silently pray, we don't know. I don't know what prayer you silently pray, but what but God knows. And, and 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 listen, the things came for you. And I, let me tell you when when I, I was tell you, I was extremely proud of you. Period. But an an extreme proud moment for me for you was when you was on American Horror Story playing a woman. No no trans identifier, right? A woman. You didn't have to say that you were trans. You didn't have to even nobody even went down that street in that fucking story. You were a woman. And you did a exceptional job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Exceptional. That, and that I was that was work. Thank you. And I hope that you are in coven. That when it comes back, I hope that you in that as one of them as one of them badass black witches. I'm hoping that. All I know is that Ryan Murphy is cooking up some stuff. So I know I'm in the next season. And I know, you know, we're talking about some other things, too. So it's like, it's a, a lot of good stuff on the way. Yes. I, like, listen, and no shade, I actually like AHS, AHS 1984. And I was... The campiness. In, listen, I was so tuned into it because there was so much going on and your character brought so much flavor to it and I was waiting and I'm not gonna lie I was waiting for the moment that your backstory was trans and when they never touched it I was like progress, progress. well yeah I mean I as far as I know Donna Chambers uh was uh, not trans as far as I know you know as far as it's written and as far as I played it I played her as a not trans you know girl so um yeah, so, you know, and it's it's funny that she ends up being a final girl and, you know, she ends up running the asylum. You know, it's it's like Ryan Murphy putting me as a black trans woman without all those identifiers, though, just putting my talent forward. Listen, that was the progress. You did a good job. 
you did a good job. Girl, you was done. You gave me you gave me black hunt, bitch. I was, you gave me black hunt. Girl, those Donna Summer wigs you had on, I was like, girl, give me two of them bitches. <laughs> yes. They were maybe they did not play with my wigs. They did not play. Yeah, your makeup was very soft. It was like you wasn't hard painted or nothing. Like it was very very cunt, like very bad. It was. Just oh, they were they were on my side. You know, I've been on productions before where they weren't on my side. Where you know they tried they they tr even tried me to like to paint me hard to, to not you know um because I was serving I was serving these hoes on the first day on one of these jobs. I can't say which one, but I was serving these hoes on the job. And the next thing I know, the makeup teams just paint me differently, and I'm just like, what's going on? Oh well, they just need to do this for the lighting. Oh okay. Well, listen. I'm a girl that got. A, I'm a girl that uh, that loves me on this instead of makeup. I put. They could draw me high to high noon, and I still be a a bitch fat auntie on the damn thing. They be like, damn, that's aunt, that's Big Shirley. We gonna work it out. We're gonna work together very very soon. Yeah, I believe it. I believe yeah. it. I believe it. You know, and and I'm telling you, if I ain't never tell you that talk that you had with me that day, and, and you got busy, and I wasn't mad, and you got busy, we we hadn't talked and stuff like that. But you went to work, and I was I was rooting and chipping. You can go and look. You can see me tweeting and all, right? Tweeting about you all on there. But that talk that you gave me was was affirmation and confirmation to prayers that I had sent up to heaven. Like you know, because I told God I don't want to be in, I don't want to be out there fighting over no spider. I just don't. I don't. Because you don't and need to. You you I are one of a kind. That. Yeah, I don't need to do that. Like, like, listen, and and I say this with with such humility. They all they all borrow from me. What Jackie Washington say? They all stole from me. <laughs> <laughs> Aretha, but it's true because you've inspired so many of the girls to. You just inspire so many of us to keep it real. And, and to I've hustle. Been, and I've been out loud. I've been out loud. Like out. I've I've been one of the most out loud living trans people. On the internet, like you can't get on the internet and don't know about this TS right here. And if you don't, somebody gonna tell you about her. Absolutely, you know, it's just what it is. And 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 you know, it does at times. It has, and I'm not gonna lie to you that it has been times that I was frustrated. Like, damn, girl, they don't even come. But then I had to. Somebody said, "What is AHS? American Horror Story." American Horror Story. Yeah, That's it's on. Is. It's on Hulu right now. So American Horror Story 1984. You can actually watch on Hulu. Oh, I'm going back and watching on um, on uh, on my DVR box. Like that was one of that was I love that scene wow. actually. I loved it. I did. Now I'm I'm telling you, sister, I, I got my fingers crossed for you, like like deeply crossed because I do. When I saw you put that tweet up the other day, or on and you was like, hey, you said you you did a nod towards Coven, and I was like, she need to be one of them badass black witches. I need to I need to know the backstory of Marie Laveau and the battle when they when they talked about the streets were were, were painted with blood. I need to know that time frame, like what, what happened in that time frame when the when the Supremes was battling that. that one was battling that one set of black witches from fucking. We need to show that we was. I just need to see that. Yes, I agree. I agree with you. You know, um, you know, so I'll definitely talk to Ryan Murphy about all Yeah, that. I need to see that. I need to see my blacks. I need to see them black witches, them black voodoo bitches in there fucking them damn Salem witches up. I need to see why did they actually have to go and make a truce? Like, right, oh, right. Remember, they made that see, truce. Yes, yes, yes. I need to see that backstory on that. And I need to see a group, not just Marie Laveau. I need to see a group of badass black witches. That had all the powers, the same. This it was equivalent to the Supreme, or if not greater. I need to see why them bitches was was trembling in their shoes. <laughs> I need, I need, I need to, I need to tell Ryan Murphy to at least get you like we got, we got to get you like a cameo or something. Get you to come. Yeah, out. I need to be one. I need to be one of the first high priestess. <laughs> I need to be the bitch that's conjuring up all the spirits and tell them whole oh, you. I need to be the bitch cut, cutting the head off the goat. And, and pouring the blood on the floor and conjuring it up. <laughs> I yes, the conjure queen, bitch. Yes, yes, I see it all. Uh, you know, you're again. Nothing is out of your reach of your imagination. You have mm. you proved that, obviously. You know. Oh yes. Yeah. Um, I love you, sister. I love, I love you, you too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get some rest because I gotta. 
you got to do, you know, you gotta do your thing. And yeah. listen, it was it was so good to see you the other day. Yes, exactly. It was great it was to so see good. you the other day. <laughs> I love you. And love you're, you're, too, you're here in Georgia. So, you know, we're going to be getting together real soon because you got to train me on a few things that I'm not ver that I'm not versed in. That yes. you have to train me on. Absolutely. You know, and you have to point me in the direction of a great, you know, coach that I need. I, I got you. Okay. I got you. Good. All we'll, right, baby. We'll Girl talk. Go to make that money, child. She over here making all mine. I'm in the nail shop till 10, 10, 11 o'clock at night. Y'all That's because you know money. you invested in yourself. That's right. That's right. I love you all. Call me. Love you too. I'll, I'll call you. Call all me right, too. Baby. I am. I am. Uh, all right. I'm going to save this video and post it so they can see Yes, it save it and post it. All right, baby. Bye. Bye. All right, y'all. Listen, that was a good power I had with my with my sister. I'm going to post this on my wall. I hope you guys enjoy. I was very transparent and very open with my conversation. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And then you know, I'm going to post this on my Instagram. And I'm going to post this on my Facebook. Oh, excuse me. On my YouTube. So my YouTube people can get a piece. All right, baby. I love you guys. Let me let her finish my nails. And let me let her sing and stuff like that. <laughs> and let her finish my feet. My foot and mm -hmm. stuff. I love you guys. Bye, y'all.